Let's talk poultry at Embark. When you're trying to figure out what animals to bring, you have a long list of options, and that includes a lot of different poultry you can bring. What's interesting about the poultry is all of them are six points, and so therefore you're not looking at getting necessarily the cheapest bird. You gotta figure out what bird's gonna meet, match your playing style. So let me show you my ranking of the poultry that you should bring. And again, there's no right answer, but there are pros and cons to what you bring. First and foremost, I like to look at the blue peafowl. I think that they are a uh, the top bird, no matter what you want to do. They lay a reasonable number of eggs, though not close to the most. They're full grown at one year. They live a long time. So if you're looking for a bird to just keep watch on a on a watchtower, that's the one you want to go with. They also get big enough that when you slaughter them, you're going to get a good amount of meat, on average about 17 edible products, as well as six bones and a hide that you can tan. The next bird that most people go to is the turkeys, partially because they lay the most number of eggs. Hands down, you'll get 12 eggs from every one of your turkeys, and so you can feed a large fortress with just a half a dozen turkeys uh, constantly pushing out eggs and making lavish meals. They get really big, they'll give you plenty of uh, meat, plenty of bones, they give you a high, but they do take two years to get full grown. So if you're running predominantly in egg production, but want to be able to slaughter some of the older birds and get some extra hides and bones out of that, turkey's an excellent option. Next on my list is probably the humble chicken. It lays uh, eggs between that of the, the peafowl and the turkey. And uh, it will give you a hide in most cases, although you got to make sure it's old enough to do so. After that, you get down to ducks. Now, ducks will not give you hides, they will not give you bones, but they do lay a lot of eggs. So especially if you're looking to mix up some of your egg production, a duck is a great way to go. Having ducks and turkeys, a blend of those two means that your dwarves won't complain about eating the same thing over and over again. Somehow, they can tell the difference between the eggs, so they'll be happier about that. Getting down to the bottom here in the goose, I, I never embark with a goose, unless you have a role-playing reason to do so, and there are role-playing reasons to do so, and you, you want to have, like, I don't know, goose down feathers in the beds of your dwarves. They lay very few eggs. They, they do get full-grown in a year, and they will give you a hide, but they're no better than peafowl, and they'll give you less eggs, so their population will grow slower. They also don't live as long as peafowl. So if you're going to go for a goose... Just go with the, the peafowl. And finally is the guinea fowl at the end. Um, again, unless you're looking to occasionally get slightly different eggs for your dwarves to eat, there's no real benefit for going with the guinea fowl over one of the other birds. Since they're all six points, if you want to bring multiple, pe multiple poultry, I'd probably just bring some peafowl and some turkeys. And that'll do everything you need to do. That's it for today. See you next time.